Are you making the next AAA game using Blender and Unreal Engine? While you are working tirelessly day and night making insanely good looking 3D assets, you certainly don't want to strain your eyes until they bleed, right? Stay tuned if you want to know how to make Blender's UI match Unreal Engine 4 and save thousands of dollars in medical expenses. Recently, I've been studying the workflow for making 3D models in Blender and using them in Unreal Engine. In order to smooth out that process, I have been looking at ways to match the render output between both softwares, trying to reuse similar shortcuts, and also customize anything that I could so that the context switch would not hinder my performance too much. And that's when I found an add-on called Blunder, which is supposed to do just that. More specifically, it adds helpful functions in Blender's node editor. It also combines a few other add-ons, for example, there is one that helps with the export process to Unreal, and another one that makes use of instant meshes to remesh your model. The creator of that add-on is Spectral Vectors, and you can download it on their itch.io page right here. Once you enable it, there is a new option available in the menu File, New, Blunder. And if you select that, the workspaces will be updated and will enable all the functionalities I mentioned previously. For example, I can now right click in the viewport and use the WASD keys to move, just like in the Unreal Editor. You might also notice that the whole UI is updated and I believe the original intent was to reuse similar colors as the Unreal Editor. However, I tried working with this theme and I found that it was not super friendly to my eyes. Most of the widgets are still a bit too bright for my taste, and it did not actually match the Unreal Editor that much, especially with all the rounded corners. So I decided to customize it to my liking and create a brand new theme. Let's open up a file that is using the standard layout instead of Blunder, and then let's switch to the Unreal Dark theme. So this is what I came up with. As you can see, the widgets are no longer distracting as they are darker and blends a bit better with the rest of the UI and allow you to focus on the viewport while you're working. This theme has been tested with Blender 2.81, so even the new open dialog and the folders color are customized. And you can see that the menus also match those from the Unreal Editor. The scripting workspace also uses the Manukai color scheme, so if you are a programmer, it should feel very familiar to you. It is built using the standard Blender's UI customization options. You don't need to use Blender to use the Unreal Dark theme. So here is how you can get it and enable it. You can download it for free on my Gumroad page right here. Just type in zero for the price, unless you are feeling generous and you want to tip me, in which case, thank you very much. And then click on the I want this button to download it. After that, you can extract the zip file. The installation instructions are in the README, however, I will show you exactly how to do it. And by the way, this is the standard procedure if you want to install any other Blender themes. So open Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, Themes. Now click on the Install button and browse to unrealdark.xml that we just extracted from the zip file. And it should now appear in the drop-down menu right here. So once you select it from the list, it will be applied automatically. Now, if you really like it and want to use it as your default theme, you can create a new general file and then apply the theme and then save that file as the default one. So from now on, every time that you use the general option, it will use the Unreal Dark theme. There you have it. Now the Blender UI matches more closely the Unreal Editor and it should be less distracting when you switch from one software to the other. This video was just a simple introduction as I have five others in the work. So if you are interested in 3D assets creation using Blender, ZBrush, Substance Painter and Designer, Marmoset Toolbag and Unreal Engine, then make sure you subscribe to be notified when I post the other videos. Thanks for watching and have an epic day.